presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. That and I got over fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother, I you're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action. It's not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 402, NASDAQ's up 141, S&P's up 44. Gold, gold contract down $2.30 trading at 1930 an ounce. We have silver down 30 cents, $22.87 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 77, $90.29 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note. Down eight ticks, trading 109.29. The 30 year down 20 at 119.01. And this is the divergence. There's a lot of divergence out here. So you got gold, not moving. All the gold stocks are green, I mean, in a, in a monster way. And then we get the dollar up 633 ticks, 105.397. The euro is at 106. The yen's at 147. The British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you're going to have some volume in this. You know, we're taking out the swing. Your small swing up here is uh, the 448, and it needed uh, 60 million shares. You're already at 54. So, you know, when we take a look at this, you're going to see, bottom line, you know, you're going, if I take that from the very top, you know, I don't think it's going to break it, but tomorrow, you know, I suspect we'll get follow through and that's going to be a break. And the high is the game again, once again. And the, and the X100, we take a look at the Q, three Qs, same type of setup in the three Qs. Now, the Qs didn't make the high last time, but what you have right now is that you're going after it, the swing, and they, this, they're going to, the Qs are going to blow it away. We already have 37 million, the swing's only 39 million. And then if we take a look at this, this might have already broke it. No, it didn't. It's right at the trend line. It's right at the, the trend line, yeah. So what gets interesting here, folks, is that when you do come up to one of these trend lines, now this is coming up to the trend line, and it is actually accelerating with volume, your probability is much higher you're going to go through it, and you'll probably just blow right through it, which is pretty wild, man. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. The 10 years down, eight ticks, but what that's doing, yesterday was a highly volatile day in the market, and all it's doing is basically testing the middle of the bar with a lot lighter volume. That's on the 10. On the 30, let's see what we have. On the 30, same deal, same deal. And then oil. Let's go into the oil market, take a look at oil. Oil's, yeah, oil's on its way, man. This is pretty intense. And the um, PPI, CPI came out yesterday? No, the PPI came out today. And inside the PPI, you know, that, that high, was, number was slightly higher by one-tenth, but 20% of that was gasoline. You know, so you can see this is a big move today. 281,000 contracts. That's not a lot of contracts, but the bottom line, it keeps moving higher. So if I take a look at this on 
Let me put this on a generic chart to see what this next swing point is. So, come on, there she comes. Taking long enough. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So your next swing. That's well, 93. So we're getting there. I suspect what this is going to do is probably going to go to 101. Reason I'm saying that, that's kind of how it's set up. That's how it comes down off the bottom. You know, you get to 90, why not go to 101, right? We look at gold. What you're going to see with gold, and what the intriguing thing is, no doubt, man, that, the, you know, and we're going to have 10 more down in a bit, and that ratio is probably going to go through the moon today because gold is still down and all the gold equities are up. So, we hit 1921 today. You're at 1930. We've done 192,000 contracts. And that's good contract volume. You're coming into uh, 170. So that's, that's, that's good contract volume. Now, we didn't break the slow, but that's still good contract volume. And now here's the mind blower. The mind blower is that the dollar, the ECB raised a quarter point today. And what they also did is that they said that, you know, like, she was hinting that, well, we're almost done. So now what you have, this has been teetering at this number. Now, this is, this is breaking topside, man. You know, so if we look at this, let's pull this back, the dollar index this is. Look at this, I can pull it back. Oh my God, I pull it back 15 years. I gotta pull it back 30 years. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I see, I see. Oh no, that's right, not 30 years, no. So we're talking, what is that? 105,883. That's where she's going. 105,883, that's another half penny. And that is also the bottom of how we come down so uh, strong. We had come down from a, uh, a price point of uh, 113 to 105 in a month. I got a monthly up here. That's, what, that's what's going on there. You had Arm go uh, IPO out here today. It was priced out at uh, 51. It was trading at 58. Had a high of 61. As our man, Mr. Dave White, would say, uh, they did a sliver deal. It was like 9.8%. And then SoftBank, uh, that's all they pushed out, and SoftBank owns the, owns the rest. So, pretty wild. Some of the uh, higher volume equities out here today. Let's see what we got. You have uh, Tesla's up five bucks. You get Apple up a buck seventy. Google's up a buck eighty-two. Rivian, oh, look, check this out. Caravana is up six sixty. Man, I don't, you know, that stock was at a dollar fifty. <laughs> It's hard to believe that that even could go back to 55 bucks. It's unbelievable, actually. I mean, it came down from 400 and something, but it's still a mind blow. You talk about coming back from the dead. Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 375. Nasdaq's up 140. S&P's up 42. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industries right now trading up 370. You get the Nasdaq up 132. S&Ps are up uh, 41. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials first and take a look at the uh, point spread out here. What's moving this Dow up? Okay, so we have the Dow. I think it's up like 1%. Yeah, 1%. So you have uh, Goldman up uh, putting 63 positive points. Caterpillar 44. Amgen uh, 35. United Health 31. Taken away from it. Visa, minus 38, that's it. That's all she wrote in there. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have? So inside the NDX, you got Moderna is up 4.5%, Sirius Satellite up 3.4%, uh, Line Technologies up 3.3%, and Lucid the Car up 3 Taken away from it, Netflix down 2.3%. That's two days in a row it's got hit. Dexcom up 1.6%. Uh, Let's go to Netflix again. This is going to be interesting. I wonder why this thing's getting hit like this. So you get two days. The volume is contracting, but let's put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, so we did from the high to the low just a 50% retracement. Yeah, this is the buyers are dying on the vine here. And let me clear this up for us again, because where do you see this? This is kind of cool. What's happening? is that Netflix right there coming into this monster bar where the sell down was. That's where it gave it up. Well, we'll see if it gives it up a little bit more. You can see that space there. That was one huge space, but that's where it's giving it up. That's the bottom line. Let's get over and take a look at uh, Google. So Google, that, that, they, you know, you know, it's wild is that there are so many different cases these days by the FTC that it's not like when the Microsoft case was going on, that's all you heard about. But this case is on right now, and Google's going higher. <laughs> so it's like, okay, man. And you know that, you know, we all know that Google's a monopoly. I mean, what they did is that, and they were so smart doing it, they paid Apple off billions of dollars to have the Apple phones and the Apple operating system, period, defaulted to Google search. And, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, Google paid for it in a monster way. But guess what? It, it made it happen for them. It, it made it happen for them in a big way, too.
Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim Wood, what's going on, brother? Well, I, I sent you some charts. And actually, uh, what's kind of important here is the um, uh, actually – well, we're kind of a review of what we did a little bit on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll take a, take a look look at chart one. Yep. Which is basically really kind of unchanged. What this uh, second window down from the top is the bullish percent index for the gold miners index slash GDX uh, as a ratio. Yes. And the top window is the uh, 10 day average of that RSI. And the uh, chart goes back to 2008 and measures the time when the RSI fell below minus uh, 25. Okay. And currently we're like, uh, uh, or not minus 25, 25 on the RSI, and we're like 15 right now. Uh, so in the past, they always, uh, only one time it failed, and that was in 2013. So there's 10 times that happened over going back uh, uh, about 2008, so quite a few years. So this is about a 9% chance, according, you know, if you do the odds. Sure. A 9% chance that the market is making an intermediate term low right here, right now. And this is a weekly chart, so it gets you close to the bottom. So anyhow, I just want to point that out. Nothing dramatically happened since Tuesday, but now it's flipped to chart two. Okay. So, okay, so intermediate term is making a low. Yeah. Now, this is the short term indicators the uh, the bottom window is the 18 day average of the uh, up down volume percent yeah. the next window higher is is the uh, gdx advanced decline percent and i i mark the times in blue where both those were above minus 10 and i marked it in pink when both times were below minus 10 yes so uh, we got above uh end of September, you know, end of August, we got above minus 10 on both and market rattled a little bit. Then it came back down for like a week and a half, a week or about a week. Then we turned around uh, probably about a week ago and we've been in the blue since. As long as this indicator stays in the blue or above minus 10 on both indicators, the uptrend has started. And I want to point out on also this chart, you know, I got red arrows drawn on both those indicators. Yes, I see that. Yeah, it's kind of a dotted and arrow. So this, so both indicators are making higher highs uh, than the previous high, where GDX so far has made a lower high. What this tells me that the up-down volume and the advanced decline indicators are actually stronger. Uh, it's a it's a bullish divergence. I'll put it that way. Okay. Uh, what, what that predicts, if uh, both since both indicators are above the previous high, that will predict GDX will get above its previous high. Maybe go a lot higher, but that would be the minimum upside target. So it's not a big deal, but we may get to at least mi a minimum of thirty. I'm thinking we're going to do a lot a lot more. So it's actually now it's flipped to. The final or chart number three. Okay. So, so we got a long-term chart, which is chart one, giving a buy signal. We got chart two, which is short-term picture, giving a buy signal. So now this is the intermediate term. Uh, the bottom window is the 50-day average of the up-down volume, and uh, act, really the the bottom one seems to carry the weight. Okay. It, it has the most accuracy, but. This indicator also gave a kind of a, a buy. Probably looks like September sometime. It got the blue area is when this indicator is above zero, and uh, the white area is just below zero. So as long as those indic uh, that in bottom indicator is above zero, those lines, the, the shaded area will be blue. I see that. And uh, yeah, the the. the a couple of days ago, this indicator was like minus six. And now this is a close of yesterday. So this is a minus 1.2 as we're sitting right now. With today's rally, I would bet that we're probably above zero today. You know, it's amazing, so, Tim, that gold is not up and every gold stock is up today. It's like, wow. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's yeah so, so I'm thinking something something's big is happening. 
and has, uh, has you know actually started back in July. Even though July it worked, it's a little bit lower than what July was. Yeah. But the only the reason why I point out July is when those indicators. At the bottom window gets below minus 20. Usually that stops the decline and market flips sideways. It goes a little bit lower, but basically flips sideways. And we've been going sideways for three months. And now if we can get, get above zero, which we may be doing it today, and hold above zero, uh, you know, we can get a rally that, that, that could last for months. Previous signals of this type have lasted multi-months. Yeah, stay right so, there, Tim. So. Stay right, right there. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 360, NASDAQ's up 122, S&Ps are up 39. Tim Ryan is going to be coming right back, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 349. NASDAQ's up 113. S&Ps are up 37. And I have to say... Hello to my son, Tom, and my grandson, Tommy. They are in Zurich right now, folks, waiting for their flight. Little Tommy, <laughs> they're probably both eating Ben and Jerry's. Picture that in Zurich. It's all over the place. Tommy, you eating that Ben and Jerry's and Pringles, I bet. You got to love it. We're talking with Tim Ward right now. We are talking markets. Okay, Tim, we are cooking. 
And they, Zurich, what, what are they doing in Zurich? What, what is they were They were vacation? in, you know what's so funny about this, Tim? Remember the last time that I saw you, right? You stayed at my house. Tommy was what, yeah. probably 12 or 13 or who knows. Um, yeah. No, he's in high school, I think. Um, so his best friend from school was getting married in Mallorca. So Tommy was the best man, and he um, he took his son to Mallorca. So they've been gone for a week. <laughs> wow! And what, what a trip! What a trip! And you should see he's been sending me pictures. Little Tommy, he's just old enough now. He knows what a road trip is. They've been going all around Zurich. He's been yeah. It's, it's just hilarious because unfortunately, they the. the Flight this morning from Mallorca to Zurich was a hour and a half late, so they missed their connection. But it turned into a great thing because there was a hotel right there. So now they both got to see Zurich. They've been running around Zurich all day. They're going to bed right now, but they're watching TFNN. You gotta love it. So they're on the TV watching TFNN. <laughs> what, what's, what's the time change? About it's uh, hours uh, hours? six. It's not bad. It's uh, nine thirty at night. Yeah. Oh, 930, okay. Six, yeah, six. yeah. but they got to get some bad. sleep, yeah, so. Pretty wild, though, wow. huh? I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, watching T. <laughs> yeah. Watching, watching their dad, huh? They're watching you, too. I know, that's what Tommy just said to me. He says, uh, and now we're laying in bed listening to you and Tim Wood. Just took a shower, ready to go to bed. Got to love it. <laughs> wow, wow. That's, that's great. Isn't that so. crazy? I know, man. I love it. Crazy. Yeah. You got to love it. Um We'll get back to the charts. Um, yes. I don't know if you have any. I don't know. We can. We can. Well, no. Through, I think. Uh, I think one charts, of the. the thought, you know, as you've been teaching. have been walking through this this uh, GDX chart. No, I know. Listen, now, Tim. As you it, as you've been teaching and it us. And developed and it developed and it developed and here we are. And here so, we are. No, as you've been teaching us how this works, it's it's pretty amazing because like today, I mean, this divergence is big. I mean, you have the dollar. Normally, if the dollar. The dollar is up more than a half a penny. So the dollar is up a 600 and something ticks, okay? You have gold is only down $2. So normally when the dollar is up that much, I mean, gold would be smoked like $20. And it's not moving. Yeah. And then, of course, you wouldn't have the gold stocks up. That's not even close. And, you know, some of these are really catching a bid. You got Royal Gold up a buck 20. You got, um, you know, Newmont up 29 cents. You get AEM up 75 cents. You know, copper's moving too. You get uh, Freeport Mac Moran up a buck. You got Pan American Silver. They're, they're moving, man. They're moving. They're, someone's buying them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it should get better. You know, uh, the key is we need to hold above, uh, you know, the zero line. Yes. We, which I think we're going to do because, you know, the chart number one says, you know, we should. You know, right. This is an intermediate term bottom that. You know, previous you know the previous signals have lasted a long, long time. So, right. Guess, you know, time will tell. But and uh, then you know, we can flip to the S and P charts. If okay. You want. And then, uh, well, let's do one more. I want because I want to show them. You're showing us the the Bollinger Bands on the GDX also. So the GDX had been teetering, as you said. You know, the last you know it was above, then it came below, and now that baby's right inside that band again. You know. Up above it, up above that middle band. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, uh. Are you looking at chart number two? No, I just I just brought it. I just brought an actual chart up. I just I just made one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the Bollinger bands. I do a lot with them. I mean, John Bollinger. Uh, God, this is years ago, back in the mid '90s, I think. I went to a. Um, they invited me to uh, in Las Vegas to, to be one of their speakers, and John Bollinger was there. Yeah, and that's the first time he presented the world his Boll Bollinger band. Oh, how cool is and, that? Uh, yeah, and I was there, and he was doing a. Uh, oh, we were speakers at I forgot what um, the the hotel it was. Yeah, but he was there. Uh, Tom McCollin was there. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There's probably about ten of us. I can't remember everybody, but that's the first time I ever met John. And and you know, he worked 100. percent I mean, he was really. Uh, I mean, all he thought about was the market. I don't think he had an outside life other than the market. Yeah, so, no, I'm with you. Right. And, right. And he really stumbled onto something, and it works really well on the on the short term time frames, bigger time frames. Uh, 
Matter of fact, when it gets outside of the Bollinger Band, either up or lower, you're kind of extended. Right. Uh, uh, and, there's you know, a lot of stuff uh, you can learn from the Bollinger Band. And so, you know what I just did, uh, too? I put it on the weekly, and it's in the middle of on the weekly, too. And oh, look at this. It's almost ready to go on the monthly. Interesting, man. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. on the weekly, now it's in the middle. And the monthly, it's just teetering. So, you know, a few more days of this. And it'll be in the middle, too. Pretty wild, man. Cool. Yeah. If tomorrow, like, you know, this last chart we showed was just a 50-day average, you know, most likely we're probably going to be above zero. I don't know for sure. Because it's a 50-day average, you know, some numbers drop off and other numbers uh, add on. But, you know, if the market can hold, if GDX can hold here or move higher, there's probably about at least a 90% chance that, that 50 day average of the up down volume will close above zero. But to, key, to continue with that rally, it needs to hold above zero. Yes. So that'd be the key. Um, and, and we also. You go back to chart, chart one, you know, that, that chart one, you know, in the past, it, it, picked, it picked out some major lows. Right. And uh, so I, I'm thinking if it gets above zero, it's probably going to stay above zero. So right. multi and, months. So and I'm we know. The early yeah. stages yet here. Yeah, and we know, so. folks, and Tim, when the gold stocks stop moving, because it's such a small sector, it doesn't take much once, you know, the game is on. Do you know what I mean? And you know what's cool, yeah. Tim, is that I haven't got any calls, you know? And, you know, the amount of calls that we get in here, you know, I don't want any either, <laughs> because right. that's always an indication. Yeah, they're meaning, they're all calling in, they're all agreeing with you, and that's usually a bad sign. Well, <laughs> what happens is that when you don't get any gold calls, that's when you've made a major bottom. When everyone's calling, yeah. that's when you made a major top. I mean, it, it's yeah. it's like within three days, you know, especially at the tops. If I get in the course of an hour, when if the market really goes, it's like you know you're going to get six. You're going to get more than six calls, but six I can take, and they're all going to be gold calls. And it's like, oh, man, we're at the top again, you know. And at the yeah. bottoms, I mean, the bottom line, I, you know, it's – and, it, and it, we both know it's been dead, so pretty cool, you know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. stay, you, stay right there. Right. We're going to take so. a quick break, and we're going to come back, folks, and we're going to talk to the S&P with Tim. And don't forget, you can hold of Tim every day. It's a great newsletter. It's Ord, O-R-D. Dash oracle.com. Ord dash oracle.com. Stay right there. Tim and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now up 347. NASDAQ's up 121. S&Ps are up 38. Don't eat too much ice cream and Pringles, Tommy. Love you guys. <laughs> If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. 
Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow Down Dash is up 348, NASDAQ up 118, S&P's up 38. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord, and we are going to go into the uh, S&P. So let's see. That's the fourth chart, right? Yep. Yeah, go to fourth chart. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, the, the top window uh, is the uh, just a ten day R, uh, ten day average of the arms, and uh, the pink area uh, is when the ten day uh, arms was uh, closed above one point two, uh, and that's all the pink area. So anyhow, I, I put that pink area in. Then that yes. The, normally, when when you get an uh, when you get panic in an area on the S and P's. That normally, when you enter into that panic area again, you'll get another high trend reading. Okay. And, and that I grew that sideways box in there, and so I uh, said panic support near 365 to 390. So yes, that's where all the panic occurred according to the trend closes on a 10-day average. And so if you can see the market was building a base in there, and so we rallied out of that base uh, starting in uh, what May. And now we're into uh, another area higher. Obviously, we're up to 450. I can't, can't quite read it. Yeah, 450, um, 44. Yeah. Yeah, the 450. So my point is here, we're not going to start another rally again until that uh, uh, 10-day trend gets up around 1.2. Okay. And when I did this, we're at uh, 0.99. So even though we're kind of gone up and down a little bit we're really kind of just going sideways but we haven't hit the panic yet so even though this may rally a little bit no, normally when you get panics in one point uh, you know above 1.2 on the 10-day average you're building energy for the next drive up right and so in Weisskopf terms if you look at that last shaded area between 365 to 390 that was all, almost a year of base building I so see. In Weisskopf method. So if you got a base of a year of a trading range, a lot of times that means you may rally for a year. Yeah. So, and we only rallied, you know, four or five, or May till September's five months. And that's all we rallied. So we're still, I think, early in the up phase. Uh, you'll see some consolidations. But we're, I think we may rally all the way into next May, April, May of next year because of the cause we, we created. Um, over that base period. Right. So, so anyhow, getting back to the current situation, uh, we need the trend to get up to 1.2. In other words, get fear in the market to get enough energy to get going to the upside. Yes. And and uh, the worst months of, of the year is the September and October. So right. we're in September now. We're about you know halfway done. Uh, no fear so far. And we, we're rallied today a little bit. Uh, so I don't think it's going to go far. Because uh, we don't have enough energy on a ten-day trend to suggest we could break out to the upside. So, so Tim, Tim, let, let, goes, let, uh, let, you know, this is expiration week, probably not far. Let but, me ask you: the, you know, the the last high we're at four fifty. The last high was only four fifty eight. You know, so do you think we could probably get up there? The volume drops off up there, and then all of a sudden, you know, 
but uh, then we're going to head back down, and that's when you get some fear in the marketplace. Yeah, so I'm hoping I'm, you know, a lot of times you you, know, you make double tops or something. We never yeah. did that. We kind of went down, and uh, so we, we could. I don't know if we have enough time. You know, I do some stuff with seasonality too. The worst trading week of the year is next week. Is it? Oh. So, yeah. Well, you know, you know, it's going to be interesting week. about that. Well, I don't so, know. I mean, so, so, nothing works 100 percent of the time. No, no, I'm with you. It's not I'm with you. One. So. Yeah, so, yeah, so I don't know. But um, so anyhow, wherever this rally goes, can we get to the previous high? Maybe it's hard to say, but I'm not a better for the intermediate term yet to the upside. I'll put it that right, way. Right, right, right. Because we, we don't have enough energy to really push it higher. Right, so yeah. The, the, to, so what, uh, what you kind of the short term. What you're oh, saying ahead, is that the, the better trade would be to let it come back down. Let it come back down into that area. See if you get the panic. If you get the panic now... Yeah, risk reward would be much better at that level, right? Exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. right. So yeah, you're looking always for risk reward. You're really stepping in when everybody's on the sell button. Yes. And that's right. the reason why the trend gets up uh, the ten day trend gets up above one point two. Right. Because if you get one point two, see that's two weeks of pretty much selling. Right. Cause it's ten, because five days in a week, you know, you got ten days, that's two weeks. Yeah. So, you know, you you're getting the market kind of blown apart when you get an average of 1.2 over a 10 day period. That's for sure. So right. you got some high days in there, maybe, you know, close to two and, and, um, and very low, you know, so yeah, anyhow, that's a pretty good panic area if you can get to 1.2 nice. on a two day, two week average. So yeah, the risk reward right now is, is not good right. for this rally to continue because you're, you're setting a, basically a 0 0.1, right. 0 0.99. Right. So nothing great there. No. But, Let's, let's go through the short term and see what we got. Okay. We're there. All right. So yesterday, I thought that was kind of interesting. Yesterday went down and tested. The pre, uh, you see those two red arrows over the last couple of days? Yes. Yeah. So I wanted to point out, so yesterday we went down, tested the previous low of what's today? Thursday to be be Tuesday. We tested Tuesday's low on at least 10% lighter volume and close above that low. And also... We had a little panic. This is just one day. We had a trend close yesterday at 1.24 with 389 down tick reads. That's wild. That tells me everybody yeah. kind of threw in the towel yesterday, and, <laughs> yeah. and uh, which is good because you got ticks on the close. You know, investors thrown in the towel, and you got a trend 1.24. Now I was saying to my newsletter, we're going to bounce probably short term. Yeah, and uh, and we're are and we are. How high is the bounce? That's it's kind of hard to say. Um, you know, maybe we go back to the high of what September first there, that high, you know, four fifty four. Yes. And maybe we, maybe we go a little bit higher. I don't know, but I don't think it's going to last long. This could be just an expiration bounce, and and that'd be about it. Right. But also, you go down yesterday to the VIX. I got the VIX in there. Yes. The second window up from the bottom. Yep. Uh, the S and P w was up a little bit. But the VIX made like a four-day low, and that's, that's the VIX is kind of a telling, kind of leads the market. So that helped me to confirm that well, probably today was going to be an update with enough panic in the ticks and trend, and with the VIX going down with pretty much an unchanged day on the S and P's, you know the odds really suggest that we're going to see an update today. And so, and here we are. Uh, do we have enough energy to really go forward? According to the 10-day average, you know, we can go up maybe a couple, three, four days, but maybe not much more than that. Yeah, we can drift uh, up, the, right, and really blow up minds, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just get everybody on the wrong side of the market and stuff. And But right. I think the worst is to, is to come, you know, either later this month or sometime in October. And we'll be talking on the radio, and, ever, and you know, this whole market will be blowing apart. Yes, and we'd be leaning bullish because we know what to look for. Exactly. So I'm with you, and, and, and we'll, we'll <laughs> and we'll pick out that next low, uh, just just like uh, you know we did back in you know in May. Everybody was kind of leaning yep. bearish, I think, in that uh, April, May, June. I don't know where it was. No, May, totally. And where market was going sideways there, and um, uh, we had enough energy in the ticks and trend. Uh, suggest the rally should continue, which is and, and remember, so we'll folks, that this that. remember this program's archived. You can listen to it, uh, you know, wherever you are, folks. Tim Lloyd, thank you very much. You have a great weekend, a safe weekend. I look forward to speaking to you on Tuesday. All right, thank you. Thanks, man.
Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Down industrials right now at 343. You get the NASDAQ up 106. S&Ps are up 36. And we'll just go over these volumes. All, all the indices are going to be taking out these swings they're small swings but they're going to take them out with volume you know we needed uh 60 million in the uh, spy gets 65 so that puts you know the the high in place well and the high in place is only uh nine points away we did 3.8 today that's in the spy if we take a look at the cues <clears throat> the cues needed 39 we're at 41 and we're 377, 387. That's up three today. So these things can make it. What's going to get interesting uh, <laughs> uh, is uh, direction, folks. You know, they, they have the leveraged uh, ETFs. They're going to be coming out with the bull bear of uh, NVIDIA. So that's going, to be, that's going to be something else, man. That's going to be traded a lot, as is Tesla and Amazon. So keep your eye on that. I'll let you know when that's coming out. But that's going to be coming out pretty quick. Um, and the divergence out here today is huge. The divergence is that this dollar is breaking out and gold's only down $2. The gold stocks are up dramatically. Well, not dramatically, but they're up a good 5%. And the next swing point here 
is, uh, what do you got there? You're talking about 105.889. So, I mean, if it did do what it did today, it's going to be right in there. And that's where we came down. So, looks like this thing is game. It's going to be pretty wild if the dollar just keeps going and gold keeps going. <laughs> We've seen that happen on a short-term basis. I've seen that happen before, but only on a short-term basis. You know, that's the bottom line. Oil, oil's on its way to 100 bucks. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Great show, 9 o'clock. Real! Go get him, folks. <laughs>